two acres. The land was allotted to us uh, in uh, 1980. And actually, then by the time it, we got it to our hand and then uh, the construction started, it was actually around the 1990s. And what we see the progress is between the last uh, three plus decade, three and odd uh, decades. And uh, we got the relics into the bhavan somewhere in, the, in 2000. So this is the main entry as we go. And this is the main uh, station form. From what you see from the ground to the tip of the globe, it's about uh, 88 feet, about nine story building height, the whole complex is. This is the heart of the, uh, the, the complex, Shiobinga complex, which is Shiobinga meditation hall. In the ground floor, we have uh, the cultural hall, uh, which is actually, which holds about uh, 250 to 300. And this is the uh, all activities where this is buzzing with activities from morning to two o'clock. Uh, this is the hall where all the yoga center classes for different batches happen, discourses happen, meditation classes happen. This is a very dynamic exhibitions that happen that keep changing. And all these things are done, specially done. Uh, this, you can just see the glimpses of the exhibition. Every, two, every second week, uh, we change this exhibition. So we almost have about... Uh, more than 2,000 to 3,000 exhibits now on about 70 different topics. And each topic is absolutely uh, forms within about four, with about 40 to 45 slides. So, and this is an interesting thing if you are noticing this, this the, the top of the, the ceiling of the, this cultural hall this is the part of the ground floor of the meditation hall. Without the, the structural engineer who designed this never had never visited Sri Aurobindo Ashram, never uh, knew about Sri Aurobindo. But when the design came, this was exactly Sri Aurobindo's uh, perfect uh, Sri Aurobindo symbol, which came into, onto the uh, ceiling. So that was a sanction for us from the master himself. So that is how a lot of activities happen. This is the cultural hall. And when we go upstairs on the, the first floor of the meditation hall, what I told you, and this is the meditation center, which holds about 500 to 600 people uh, seating, uh, slightly close uh, seating. And this is the place, uh, Samadhi, what we have, what you can see. And uh, this is open for public from morning uh, 5 o'clock till evening 7.30 to 8 p.m. So this is the meditation hall and absolutely serene. And we have... Uh, the whole uh, complex is, has four gates, and all the th the fourth gate on the north side, which is uh, open to a, a complete a playground, which is uh, so I'll touch upon three other sides. So, so all the three sides, three are different approaches. We uh, to a central courtyard. So this is the south approach uh, from the of the this thing. This is the eastern approach. The entire this is one of the centers in the heart of the in the heart of Bangalore uh, where all around us with those, uh, a lot of activities that are happening very rush and then in between this when anybody comes into the campus you can certainly feel the difference between the outside temperature inside temperature not only that one who is sensitive they can definitely feel the wipes our and presence so this is actually the way uh, to, to the school central schoolyard a courtyard of the school and what you see partly is the school building and this actually is the central courtyard which gives you a side of uh, this is the back side of the meditation hall what i showed you and on the left hand side what you see is a guest house which actually extends we have uh, about uh, nine rooms dedicated to, to this thing and uh, out of other uh, 20 rooms are actually uh, taking uh, uh, space in the as a part of the school space this is quite a thing it is not just what you see and uh, this is the part of the courtyard where uh, on the right hand side we have an open air theater which and then in this end court is so big that approximately about 1200 uh, chairs can be easily accommodated so, we, so when we whenever we have a major uh, functions we have a chair so this is just a, uh, one of the functions of the school just to indicate uh, the school and the courtyard and uh, the stage its utilization is one of the favorite spots of all the children 
uh, this is how the whole greenery takes place. Uh, and one of the major important uh, things was due uh, on uh, the Silver Jubilee function of the school. Uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam was there uh, with the school, and he nearly spent about four and a half hours in the school. Actually, his allotted uh, time for us was about one and a half hours. He spent three hours extra discussing uh, uh, several other aspects of it, giving us the guidelines, and especially he was so much interested about the integral education, knowing about the integral education in the place. So uh, we in both and time, also I mentioned it earlier, and together we have schools. Now we are coming out with another uh, school, which is uh, about 15 kilometers uh, away from the existing school. That is going to be a eight-level school. This is going to be called the model school, and uh, it will have three basic uh, functions. One will be the regular school affiliated to CBS. It's going to be a teachers national teachers training academy. And it is also going to be a research in education. We are trying to find uh, sign an MOU with one of the leading uh, government institutions uh, as far as the child psychology is concerned, and then the child development concerned, and then the area in which we would like to take forward integral education and the research as applied to the education, all everything in the light of Shiro window and the mother. Now, so these are the, just the pictures, and then I some of the, apart from all the significant celebrations and observations which happen, uh, the, the entire campus is bursting with activity and from morning to night. Um, hall with about uh, 500 to 600 if closely fitted, cultural come exhibition hall, which I talked about, audiovisual hall, we have a separate, uh, which can hold about 100 people, guest houses, which is Matri Chaya, library, which is open to public, uh, dormitory, uh, we have about, for about 75 people are coming. Then Ashish products and booklets. We have an open air theater, uh, which is for, uh, for new age, and the auto school, which uh, we all talked about. So this is in nutshell what uh, I would like to present as far as Shiorbindo uh, complex is concerned. A few words about um, among all the other centers and branches. 